Hi hey everyone, it's Kay. Um, today I'm going to be knitting, hand knitting a chunky blanket. Um, I'm going to be using this yarn here by Yarn B. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you can actually use any yarn you want, um, just as long as it's a chunky yarn that you can finger knit with. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to start with the white yarn and I'm going to try to mix and match it. Um, so the first thing you want to do, hold on, I was um, practicing before, so let me try to undo some of the, these knots um, before we get started. Okay, I want to actually show you how to create the slip knot. I had a slip knot in there. Um, so the first thing you want to do is um, you have the tail, which I found, and you're going to leave a little room um, so that you can make a, make the slip knot. Okay, so hold your hand out like that, and you're going to take the yarn across, um, put it in between your thumb and your index finger right here, and then this is the yarn right here connected to the ball that I'm using, um, connected to the yarn ball. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it around my hand again, like that, flip it over, and go in between and pull this through. So I'm going to show you again. You're going to take the yarn, the part where the tail is, put it across your hand like that. Then you're going to cross it again, turn around, and put your finger through to pull this part through. Okay? And then you'll have a slip knot that looks like this. Um, I'm going to try to make it smaller because I want my loops to be small, um, the stitches to be small when we're going across. And uh, give me just a second, I'll pull the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing after we make this loop. Okay. So this is about how big it is. I want it a little bit smaller. I made one um, that will be in the thumbnail. Um, and I just felt like the loops were too big in between. I want it to be a little bit closer together now. Okay. So I'm going to put the yarn over here because we're going to be working to the left. Okay. And the tail right here is over here. We do not need to use the tail until the end. We'll weave it in at the end so that... Um, you know, we can uh, get it out of the way. Um, but for now, we're just going to be working from the ball. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is the loop. We made this with a slip knot. We're going to turn it that way. And what we're going to do, put your two fingers through. This is my thumb and this is my index finger. I'm putting it through the loop, and then I'm just going to pull the yarn that's connected to the ball through. And look, I'm not going to make it too too uh, big. Again, I want it to be smaller so that the loops won't be as noticeable. Um, and so that's all you're doing, just pulling through. And so I put my hand in the next loop, and I just pull it through. And I'm just going all the way across. I'm not going to do a lot of loops this time because I'm just wanting to show you a brief um, tutorial on how to do this. Um, pulling it through. Um, you, but you can make it as long as you want. Um, you can make a baby blanket or a full size or a king size, queen size. It doesn't matter. The first one I made was probably a queen size. Um... See, this is what it's looking like. I'm going to just continue to go across. Again, I don't want to do too many, but I, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it the size of a throw blanket. When I did the queen, um, it took me about three hours because that was my first time doing it. And I was trying to watch a video while doing it. Um, so it might be quicker this time around. I'm not sure. Um... Okay, so I'm going to do a few more, and then I'm going to do about four rows of white, and then probably four rows of pink. I also have a pink. Okay, 
So I'm just going across, as you can see, and hopefully, let me redo this, this last one I put in. Okay, so I'm putting my hand back through, pulling it through, there. And I will continue to just pull it through. And again, I don't, this yarn is so soft, you, you all. Um, very soft. I kind of want to make a full blanket just so that I can have one, a neater one than the last one that I made. The first one I made was, again, it was the first one. I kind of rushed through it. Okay. So this is where I'm going to stop at. I think I've made it long enough. Um, you can continue to go across if you want or not, but that's, that's where I'm going to stop at. Make sure it's straightened out. Okay, so we're at this last loop. And what we were doing before was pulling it through. But instead of pulling it through, we're going to put it down like that. Because we're about to work our way back across to the other side now. And to do that, what you're going to do is, you see this yarn here? We're just going to, see, we're still putting our two, two fingers in. We're just pulling it underneath that loop and pulling it down like that. You see? So I'm going to put my yarn back on to this side. Excuse me. It's getting a little tangled up because I pulled it, pulled a lot of it apart. But hopefully you can see, you see, we pull that down and I don't want it too big. So I'm going to pull it a little bit so that it can, won't be too big. Okay. So this is the harder part, but it's still pretty simple. What we're doing is we're going to pull, put the yarn through each of the stitches. There's a little hole there and there. And there, if you go across, you'll see all of those stitches that you will pull, pull the, the yarn connected to the ball through. So I'm going to pull, I'm on the second stitch. So what I'm going to do, take my two fingers through to make an opening and then pull the yarn through to make another loop. See, just like that. Now we have two loops. Now I'm going to go again, try to make an opening, pull the yarn through. So I can make another loop. Okay, so now we have three loops. So you just go all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way across to finish this up. And it might not look as, um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I want to go ahead and get this part out the way so that we can get to the next step. It is harder to pull the yarn through when you make the, the uh, stitches uh, smaller. And just, but it's, again, just make sure you make them about the same size. Make sure you don't accidentally twist anything because then it may not look as, as nice. Yeah, it's much harder to... Um, when you make the stitches smaller, it's much harder to pull it through. But just take your time and you'll get them through. If you want to make them bigger so that it can be very, very chunky, um, you can also do that. Again, this yarn, see, I've already done several. They're not all the way even, but they're close enough so it won't be a big, you know, a big difference. No, it won't be very noticeable. So I think I would just go ahead and make a child size blanket. My daughter and my son were asking for a new blanket, so I'll make this one for them. I 
and just find your own rhythm. Now this blanket is very, very soft and I'm, I just love the material. It's so soft. And anyone can do this, really. Um, when I was doing the first one, I had my daughter come and try to show her how to do it. And she was pulling some of the loops through. So she's only four years old. So if she can do it, you can do it. Okay. So I'm at the end of the row, and this is what it looks like. If you can see, look at what we've done all of that in just that little bit of time. Now, I've done um, two rows, so I'm going to go back across. I'm going to do about four rows. Then I will add the other yarn just so that you can see how to do that. Um,
Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, this is what I have just from doing that. See how pretty that is and how much I've done um, that quickly. It didn't take me long. Um, so I have this much left and usually when I did the other blanket, what I did, I'm going to show you the pink yarn. This is the pink yarn. I'm going to mix it. Um, you can use all white or, you know, all, all of the same color if you want, but um, this is the yarn I have left, so I'm going to use what I have, um, two different colors. And I think it's pretty, it goes uh, very well together. Um, so when I did it the first time, I just knitted these two together and continued to loop. Um, I'm not going, I'm sorry, I'm not knitted, but sewed these two together. I used a needle and thread and sewed these two together. Um, so that it could have more of a seamless look. Um, but I'm just going to tie it together now. I don't have time to... Um, I'm going to tie it together and then continue to... Um, just like that. Make a... Make sure it's tight, but... What you would want to do, I'm not, I, I don't have time to do that again, is sew it together. Um, but this is what I'm going to do now. Um, and you can um, just continue to knit just like usual, pulling them through. Like that. We're already, and then. I will cut this down a little bit just so that it won't be very noticeable, um, but you just continue to pull it through. I'm going to put the pink yarn over here so that you can see. Okay, everyone, so I have um, added all of the pink, and you can see I have a whole white and pink uh, blanket. Um, so I have one more ball of yarn that I'm going to go ahead and add to it. Um, I figure I may as well go ahead and make a full, full size uh, baby blanket or throw. Um, so I'm going to do what I told you all before. Instead of um, sewing this one up, I'm just going to go ahead and tie it together. But again, I recommend you sewing these two pieces together like that. Um, but because of the kind of yarn it is, it's so chunky, you can't even tell. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and tie it together. Make sure it's tight. Just double knot it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and start and 
putting these loops inside of the ones that I already have, pulling them down like we've been doing. Let me push this over some. And I will cut this down some just so that it won't be as noticeable at the end. So now we have joined in another color. Okay. See? So I'm going to go back across with the uh, burgundy and I will come back and show you the full blanket and then we will bind it off. Okay everyone, I'm back and um, I, I went ahead and added um, all of the yarn, the white, uh, the pink, and you can see the uh, burgundy or wine color. I don't have a lot of room on my table, but as you can see, it's very, very pretty and it's big enough, uh, sorry about that, for a baby blanket. Um, so the only, I mean, there's no, you can turn it over and see. Uh, how it looks on the back, how even it looks. Let's see if you can see that. So the only thing we have left to do is just to bind it off um, on the ends, and I probably should have did that before I showed you all how it looks so it won't get messed up. Okay, so to bind it off, this is the way that I'm gonna do it. Some people do it a little different. You can watch um, the other tutorials as well. But to bind it off, this is what I do. The loop. Take the first loop and then I'm going to put the next loop beside it in between that one. Pull it through and then I'm going to put my hand in it and take the next loop and put that in between that one. Pull it through, take that one, put the loop in between, pull it through and if you can see it's starting to bind off. I'm going to put my hand through, pull this next loop beside it. Hold on, I think I... Give me a second, let me make sure my loops, because they're so small, it's easy for them to come apart. So, got my hand in this loop, and I'm going to put this one underneath. Take that one, put the next loop underneath. Take that one, put the next loop underneath, and you just go all the way across doing that. And it's kind of tight because I did them small, um, but you can pretty much get an idea of what I'm doing. And just keep pulling them through till you get all the way to the other side. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I need a camera person. All right, I'm almost to the other side. And put that loop through. And um, hopefully you can see I got one last loop, this last loop to put through. Okay, so I've, it's all the way bound off if you can see. And so I'm going to put my, take this tail that I have over here and I'm just going to put it, pull it through. Give me a second. Take the tail and pull it through to tighten it. And then um, I li I'm just going to um, tighten it one more time, put another knot in it just so that it doesn't come apart. And then you can, I'm going to clip it here, but when I made the bigger blanket, I sewed it together. Like if I cut it right here, I'm going to show you how I sewed it. This part right here, I sewed it that way just so that it could um, be uniform. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to make a clean cut. And then there you have it. And it's bound off. And let me see. 
So we have us a whole new baby blanket. And again, I'm not sure how big you made yours. Um, we still have the beginning tail. I do want to show you that. Um, you can weave it in and out if you want. Give me a second. Sorry. So you can, some people will weave it in and out of the uh, yarn like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut it instead of, you know, I just like the uniform look. And you can sew it if you want. Like I mentioned before, sew those little pieces down once you cut it. Um, these are the little pieces that were sticking up from when I tied. Um, but again, if I did, um, if I decided to give this one away, I would have sewn it down. But this, this is just for the tutorial so that you can just get an idea of how to do it. And then you can fold it up if you like. Look how pretty this is. So cute. And you can fold it up like that. Very pretty blanket. So um, this pretty much concludes the tutorial. I just love it. And it's just so soft. <laughs> Look at it. Very. And it's so stretchy. I just love it. So um, I think that concludes the tutorial. If you have any uh, questions, um, if you have any questions, um, just put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to um, answer them as soon as I can. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I will be posting um, new video uh, videos uh, every one to two weeks. Um, I am working on a new project. Uh, so if you stay tuned, um, this will be the next video I post regarding how I made this uh, scarf using a basic knit stitch. Um, so I'm still working on this scarf, but again, this will be the, the next video and I'll be using this yarn right here. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you. Bye.